So, been told, and I, and I, that I do I do agree with this because I've had people calling me up about conspiracy theories running the running the rounds at the moment in in the in in, in, in you know in the in the world actually yeah, and that they seem to be even stronger than before and. I would say with conspiracy theories, I mean, they've always gone along, but they tend to probably be more stronger now with a lot of meat, you know, um, who knows, you know, the Illuminati have orchestrated the, um, have orchestrated a world, uh, a new world order to start taking place. Who knows what's going on? The cons latest conspiracy theories, I'm sure they're, they're quite fun. And, um, and um, draining. I think if someone is drained by conspiracy theories, uh, it's a good sign. It's a good sign. I mean, sometimes you might find that you're you're drawn into conspiracy theories and you're getting entertained by them, which is, you know, I mean, it's a bit of fun. Uh, but um, it's like with it's like with addiction. You know, the very first donut you have is very is good fun. You know, and the second donut's quite fun, and a few days of donuts is quite fun, but at a certain point, it's starting to take away from you. And um, so, I'd say if you're finding conspiracy theories draining, then um, uh, it's probably time to see if you're willing to um, abstain from them, because the world is a bit like to see see the world a bit like. Um, an invitation of temptations left, right, and center for your for your spiritual connection to to lose your spiritual connection and get hooked into the drama of the world. So, I recently had a, f a friend of mine who I've known for a long time ring me up and tell me about this thing about what's you know how how the powerful people are orchestrating everything, and it's all uh, it's all being orchestrated and there's dark forces at hand. I told you know I told him why are you talking to me about all this stuff this stuff you know and 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 I told talked to him many times about keeping his vibration up. I said like and then he said well th you know I think it's happening. He said so what? Uh, uh, so, uh, and then I I said to him um, look, um, you know if if you if you allow your vibration to go down to this level then you're not going to be a solution in the world. You're going to be, I mean, this is all coming out of an energy field of darkness. Even if it's true or not, it's kind of irrelevant. So if you sort of tune into this vibratory field, uh, your vibration is going to be rubbish. So, uh, and all you've done is tune into this vibration. So you're not even helping the situation by trying to read this stuff, learn about this stuff and enter the energy field or the drama field or get hooked in to the debates that are going on here. I said, like, leave it alone um, and focus on, just focus on your own spiritual vibration and lifting it. And you'll, you know, and, and then you'll be actually a light in the world that will counterbalance all the people who are lost in the negativity of the darkness. Just your vibration and the way you see the world and the way you help the world will be an antidote, whether it's true or not. But just allowing yourself to get hooked into this drama. I mean, your vibration, you know, I could see his vibration was down because he was trying to tell me, you know, trying to get me to agree to his views on, you know, what's happening behind the scenes. So he then agreed with me to drop it and not to go in there. I was very happy for him because I know their temptation and I know what it was doing to his thing because you just end up thinking about conspiracy theories and talking to everyone about conspiracy theories. And and uh, it's not really... Um, it's not really a thing. I like I like Dr. Hugh Len. Um, the way I mean, what would I do if I suddenly I mean, like with him? I mean, I've totally forgotten it already. What he told me, I just thought it was just um, I'm not going to allow myself to get hooked into that drama. I just dropped it straight away. But if I was getting hooked into, I go, oh my goodness, let me go on YouTube and and uh, YouTube Illuminati um, coronavirus or something, and do some research to find out what's happening which I didn't do. But if I was, then um, I would I would refrain from doing that and transcend it. So I would, if I really believe there's some uh, dark forces, I'd, I'd, I'd uh, forgive them. Uh, I'd pray to transcend this and let it go. Uh, I'd pray uh, to forgive all people who are engaged in darkness. Um, 
and to let it go i also just pray to be of love and light my vibration to rise to love and light now so it can be used for a channel of love and light as the light needs me to be used right now and not engage in it dr hawkins did talk about it he said um, writing his book uh, on modern man and looking into all the darkness in the world did bring up a lot of his uh, he, he called it the spiritual night the injustice of what people are doing in god's world at the moment uh, and he had to try and clear that in himself because obviously it brings up the righteous righteous anger you know how can these dark people be doing this dark stuff in this world at this time how dare they so i'm going to crusade and and bring these dark people to justice thing come up in the, in, the, in the archetype in the archetypes so he had to clear that after he wrote the book you know so you so and he, he sort of mentioned, you know, to and get if you if you spend too much time looking at darkness and under, trying to understand darkness, uh, um, don't do it really because um, you can do it, but in order to go into darkness, understand darkness, uh, you know, uh, unless you're very evolved and very sophisticated and not being able to hook to get hooked in or do anything down there. Uh, it, it's better just to focus on the light and helping others who want the light than to look at the darkness because even the most sophisticated spiritual seekers uh, tend to get, um, you know, tend to pick up stuff and, and lose their connection just by staring at that stuff for too long and that vibe, being in that vibratory field. So my thing is um, when any temptation of the world come, whether it's uh, drama, any kind of drama in the world, um any kind of um any kind of uh, any of the uh, temptations that arise in all areas whether they be uh, along the lines of greed pride uh lust sloth or whatever is to do my best not to indulge in those because they're all good fun i mean greed being a greedy pig and eating too many donuts i mean it's 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 it, it, it's short-term fun but long-term not good uh so so resist that um, I always think of the thing, like when I always talk in general, it's like, oh, there's a lot of darkness in the world. I mean, we have the solution in the 12 steps, actually. You know, 12 step groups. I mean, like I'm in a group for people, but it would, it would be the same if we had Conspiracy Anonymous, the 12 steps with Conspiracy Anonymous. Like, um, we, you'd only help people who want to recover from being conspiracy addicts in that group. You wouldn't go out sort of like trying to club someone on the head saying like, don't you know invol involving yourself in this conspiracy stuff is not good for you but if they if they're open to to recovery from that and then helping others come out of the drama of that then that's okay because now you're actually helping someone who wants to come out of that rather than trying to go in to the people who are stuck in that or persuade people who are stuck in that who don't want to come out of that and are still getting a lot of payoff from that field of energy so anyway, I'll quickly stop on that, uh, click, press stop there.